Today, let us build user login form using jQuery Ajax methods. If you have time, please visit the registration form using jQuery, PHP, and Ajax present on our blog. Now I'll quickly write a form with an ID of my form with a method of post. It has two fields, namely username and password. And a button with an ID submit. I'll take a div with an ID ACK for the purpose of displaying messages to the user. Now I'll quickly connect to the database called people. Localhost, my username is root and I don't have any password. I'll select a database called people. Save it as db.php. We had created this database that is people in our previous tutorial of building registration form using jQuery, Ajax and PHP. Please search for it on our blog technotip.com. Now connect this PHP file to the database that is people by including db.php file. Now let's accept this username and password since it is in post method we need to use dollar underscore post standard variable of php i'll also write mysql underscore real escape underscore string in order to defend against sql injection i'll do the same with the password also note that we need to convert our user entered password into md5 encryption since we had stored the passwords in md5 encryption in our database to compare with md5 encrypted data we need to also encrypt the user entered password to md5 encryption now the sql statement select count star from user where username and password are the ones entered by the user. Execute this SQL query using mysql underscore query function. Now let's fetch the result mysql underscore fetch array since dollar row is an array the result will, will be stored in array index 0 if it is greater than 0 that is if it fetched something from the database then the login is successful else login failed because there was no entry with the combination of these username and passwords so login failed so let's check it out on our browser we have a an username called satish with a password abc login successful i'll give a wrong username and wrong password so failed this is our traditional login form with HTML and PHP. Now to Ajaxify this, bring in the jQuery. Once this button is being clicked, call an anonymous function And before proceeding, let's check if username and password has been entered. If it is empty, alert the user with appropriate message. To identify these 
input box uniquely i'll give an id of username and password respectively so if now select the username input box and check if its value is empty is equal to nothing also do the similar with the password if it's empty well it's jquery so i need to select the div with an id ack and then append or uh, insert the html that is message here please enter both username and passwords password that's it now else if the user has entered both username and password then execute the else block wherein we write the jquery ajax method shortcut that is dollar dot post first parameter is the url to be passed we will fetch that url from the form a form name is my form dot its attribute that is its action attribute which has the url to be passed that is login dot php second parameter is the data to be passed which is present inside our input box of the form my form now we need to serialize this data using serialize array method of jquery this formats the input data into key value pairs now the third parameter is the callback function once this url that is login.php is parsed this data is passed to login.php it returns login successful or login failed which we would catch inside the callback function and use it appropriately to display messages to the user select the div with an id ack and insert the data now the important step that is we need we shouldn't redirect the page once the user hits the submit button so we are writing this outside the else block the else block is just the post method so return false once the my form that is the form name it's submitted return false okay that's it now let's see it in the browser username is satish password is abc login login successful now i'll give wrong password so fail to login let's even do some validation inside login.php which would be server side validation i'll check if the username and password is empty using php function that is empty it returns true if whatever we pass to empty method is actually empty else it returns false in this case if any of this that is username or password is empty i'll echo a message that username and password are mandatory for the purpose of testing i'll write from php that is this message was sent from php script well i think we don't need this exit method here i'll just take it off since we have only one line of code inside if we need not even mention have a bracket here so if the user has entered username and password both username and password then this else block 
would get executed. This entire thing is inside the else block. So that's it with the server side validation. If the JavaScript has been disabled on the user's browser, let me refresh this page first. Okay, now I'll enter. I'll enter ABC. So login successful. I'll give wrong. Well, let me take off the username and password and hit login button. It should echo username and password mandatory from PHP message. So, okay, it's giving. So it has been successfully validated at the server level that is for server level validation. I'll put back my JavaScript. So it is very important to validate both at the client side as well as on the server side. For more information, please visit technotip.com. Also view registration form using jQuery, PHP and Ajax, which is present on our blog technotip.com. Please spread this video, share this video with your friends on Facebook, Google+, LinkedIn and Twitter. Please be subscribed to our blog technotip.com and to our YouTube channel. If this tutorial or any of our tutorial helps you, please don't forget to like this video on YouTube.